This is the KF-51 Panther, Germany's first newly designed main battle tank in over 40 years, unveiled in June 2022. In an era of drone swarms, precision-guided missiles, and network-centric warfare, many argue that the days of the main battle tank are numbered. Yet the KF-51 is here to challenge that narrative. But is it truly the game-changer it claims to be? Let's find out. The Panther draws its name and inspiration from a storied lineage of German tanks. The original Panzer V, developed during World War II, was a revolutionary vehicle designed to counter advanced Soviet armor. Known for its formidable firepower, robust protection, and battlefield dominance, it became one of the most feared tanks of its time. Fast forward to the 1980s and the Leopard II continued this legacy, setting a global standard for main battle tanks with its cutting-edge design and adaptability. Today, this new iteration builds on these foundations, combining the historical prowess of its predecessors with state-of-the-art technology to address the demands of modern warfare. But why does this new tank matter now? Its debut comes at a time when global tensions are higher than they've been in decades. NATO nations are modernizing their forces in response to challenges from rising powers like China and Russia. The Panther is designed not only to dominate the battlefield, but also to reassure allies and deter adversaries. Let's now look at the features that set the KF-51 apart. First, the Panther builds on the chassis of the Leopard II, one of the most successful tanks in history. However, Rheinmetall has introduced significant upgrades to meet the demands of 21st century warfare. This approach leverages the Leopard II's proven reliability and performance while integrating cutting-edge advancements in armor, mobility, and firepower. Among its key enhancements, the tank's upgraded armor design stands out. The manufacturer has incorporated advanced modular composite armor on the front and sides, improving its ability to withstand modern threats such as guided missiles and kinetic energy penetrators. Another defining characteristic is its remarkably light weight for a main battle tank. At 60 tons, the Panther is significantly lighter than many Western counterparts, such as the M1 Abrams, which can exceed 74 tons depending on its armor configuration. This weight reduction offers distinct tactical advantages. A lighter vehicle can traverse a wider range of terrain, cross weaker bridges, and operate more effectively in less developed areas. Additionally, the Panther's high power to weight ratio provided by its 1,500 horsepower engine ensures impressive agility and speed. This combination of mobility and protection allows it to outmaneuver heavier adversaries, giving it a critical edge in dynamic combat scenarios. Just a quick moment before we move on. If you're new here and you like this content, consider subscribing to sustain our work and help us create more videos like this. The turret design is another area of notable innovation. Larger and more angular than the Leopard 2's turret, it accommodates the massive 130mm Future Gun System, or FGS, a key highlight of this system, which we'll cover in more detail shortly. This powerful weapon required additional space and structural reinforcements to handle its size and recoil. The expanded turret also offers storage for ammunition, or counterweights to maintain balance, and ensure stability during high-speed maneuvers, or when firing. These refinements not only optimize the tank's firepower, but also enhance its functionality and survivability on the battlefield. As mentioned earlier, the Panther's centerpiece is its future gun system. This weapon marks a significant leap forward for Western main battle tanks, leaving behind the 120mm standard that has defined NATO tanks for decades. With a 50% increase in muzzle velocity compared to its 120mm predecessors, the FGS delivers greater kinetic energy and an extended range of up to 3,500 meters in ideal conditions. In addition to its impressive firepower, the main gun supports a variety of ammunition types tailored to meet specific operational needs. Alongside traditional armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding sabot rounds and high-explosive shells, the FGS introduces programmable fused munitions. These advanced rounds allow the tank to engage a broader range of targets, including low-flying drones or infantry concealed behind cover. By setting the fuse to detonate at the precise moment, the Panther can neutralize threats that would otherwise remain out of reach for conventional tank guns. When compared to its competitors, the FGS represents a major technological advance. Russia's T-14 Armada, often touted as a benchmark for next-generation tanks, features a 125mm cannon with an autoloader. 
a configuration that still falls short of the Panther's raw firepower and extended range. Similarly, the American M1 Abrams, while immensely capable, continues to rely on a 120mm gun, albeit with frequent upgrades to its fire control systems and ammunition. The leap to 130mm sets a new standard for Western MBTs, breaking through a technological boundary that had remained unchallenged for decades. Another key feature that distinguishes this next-gen tank from many of its Western counterparts is its autoloader, a technology long embraced by Russian designs but rarely adopted by NATO forces. This innovation offers several key advantages. One of the most immediate benefits is the reduction in crew size to three, the commander, gunner, and driver. Unlike tanks with human loaders, which require more internal space for both personnel and their movements, the Panther's automated system enables a compact and streamlined design. This reduction not only improves operational efficiency, but also contributes to the tank's lower profile, making it harder to detect and target. The autoloader also boosts the tank's rate of fire, reportedly achieving up to 10 rounds per minute under optimal conditions. This performance addresses long-standing criticisms that traditional autoloaders are slower than human loaders in Western tanks, like the Leopard 2 or M1 Abrams. If Rheinmetall's claims hold true, this system combines the speed of a human loader with the reliability of automation, ensuring a rapid response to threats and positioning the Panther as a high-intensity combat vehicle capable of sustained engagements. Going beyond the reduction in crew size, the Panther introduces a fourth seat in its configuration, adding versatility to its operations. This additional position can be used by a drone operator who manages reconnaissance drones or loitering munitions, providing real-time situational awareness and long-range targeting. Alternatively, the seat could accommodate a company commander, allowing for the coordination of battlefield tactics and oversight of operations through the tank's advanced systems. Moving to its defensive capabilities, the KF-51 employs a three-layered defense system that integrates passive, reactive, and active protection to safeguard its crew and ensure survivability against a range of threats. Passive protection consists of advanced modular composite armor designed to absorb and deflect incoming kinetic energy from projectiles like armor-piercing rounds, providing robust defense against direct attacks. Reactive armor takes a more proactive approach Embedded with explosive panels, this system is designed to neutralize the energy of incoming projectiles before they can penetrate the vehicle's core structure. For instance, when a shaped charge warhead, commonly found in anti-tank missiles, strikes the armor, the explosive panels detonate outward, disrupting the projectile's penetration ability. This adds an extra level of protection, particularly against high-explosive anti-tank munitions. Finally, the Active Protection System, APS, forms the third layer. This technology is designed to detect and intercept incoming threats such as anti-tank guided missiles and top attack munitions, which have become increasingly prevalent in conflicts like the war in Ukraine. Using sensors and countermeasures, the APS engages these threats mid-flight, neutralizing them before they can reach the vehicle. Adding to this arsenal of defensive measures is the Rosy Smoke System a passive countermeasure that disrupts enemy targeting capabilities. Unlike conventional smoke screens, ROSI is specifically engineered to block electro-optical and infrared sensors, which modern guided munitions frequently rely on. By generating a dense multispectral obscuring cloud, ROSI not only conceals the tank, but also confuses enemy guidance systems, giving the crew valuable time to reposition or counterattack. The KF-51 goes beyond the traditional limits of a main battle tank by integrating advanced drone technology and loitering munitions, making it a truly multi-domain system for both reconnaissance and precision strikes. One of the most innovative features of this vehicle is its ability to deploy reconnaissance quadcopters directly from its turret. These drones act as eyes in the sky, offering real-time situational awareness and enabling the crew to scout areas without exposing the tank to unnecessary risks. They can identify potential threats, locate enemy positions, and map terrain, giving the crew a significant tactical advantage during operations. The reconnaissance drones also enhance the vehicle's role in network-centric warfare, relaying critical information to allied units or command centers. By sharing real-time data, they contribute to coordinated battlefield strategies and improve operational efficiency. Complementing these reconnaissance capabilities are the tank's Hero 120 loitering munitions, 
developed in collaboration with Israel's defense industry. Often referred to as kamikaze drones, these provide a long-range precision strike capability. The Hero 120 can loiter in the air for up to 60 minutes, scouting the battlefield and awaiting a designated target. With a range of up to 60 kilometers and an 18-kilogram warhead, it can neutralize high-value targets such as enemy vehicles, fortified positions, or command structures far beyond the line of sight. This ability to engage threats from a distance greatly enhances the tank's versatility. In situations where its main gun or coaxial weapons are ineffective or out of range, the Hero 120 munitions serve as a lethal alternative, extending the platform's reach and effectiveness across a wide range of scenarios. The KF-51 is also a technological hub built for the modern battlefield. Its compliance with the NATO Generic Vehicle Architecture, or NGVA, ensures interoperability and adaptability across allied forces. By adhering to this standardized framework, the system is future-proofed for seamless integration with NATO technologies, positioning it as a vital component of a unified and efficient battlefield network. The NGVA standard enables this next-generation tank to incorporate new hardware and software upgrades without requiring extensive redesigns or retrofits. In an era where military technologies evolve rapidly, this adaptability is crucial for ensuring the platform remains relevant, even as new advancements emerge. Excelling in battlefield connectivity, the vehicle is equipped with advanced sensors, data links, and communication systems, making it a real-time information hub. By sharing critical data with allied units, it integrates into a broader network of vehicles, drones, and command centers, significantly enhancing situational awareness and enabling more informed tactical decisions. This connectivity also boosts survivability and efficiency. By sharing real-time information about enemy positions, threats, and terrain, the tank enhances crew awareness while benefiting the entire operational group. In this way, it serves not just as a combat asset but as a force multiplier, amplifying the effectiveness of allied forces and contributing to coordinated battlefield strategies. Although still in its developmental phase, the Panther's path to production and deployment is bolstered by promising partnerships and geopolitical considerations, which could pave the way for its widespread adoption. One of the most significant steps toward bringing the Panther to the battlefield is Rheinmetall's collaboration with Hungary. In late 2023, the Hungarian government signed a 288 million euro development contract with Rheinmetall to finalize the Panther's design and advance it toward production maturity. Hungary's involvement may influence the tank's final specifications, including the potential adoption of a 120mm main gun to ensure compatibility with Hungary's existing Leopard 2 fleet. This adaptation highlights the Panther's flexibility and demonstrates the company's willingness to tailor its platform to meet diverse national requirements. In July 2024, Rheinmetall and Leonardo established a joint venture to produce KF-51 tanks and Lynx infantry fighting vehicles. This collaboration aims to support the Italian Army's main battle tank and armored infantry combat system programs, marking a significant step toward the Panther's integration into European armed forces. Adding further geopolitical significance to the Panther's development, is the German defense company's decision to establish a 200 million euro manufacturing facility in Ukraine. Initially dedicated to producing Lynx armored vehicles, the factory has the potential to transition to Panther production in the future. This move is particularly noteworthy, given Ukraine's urgent need to modernize its armored forces amidst ongoing conflict with Russia. The decision to build this facility in Ukraine serves multiple purposes. It strengthens the country's industrial base, demonstrates NATO's commitment to supporting Ukraine's defense capabilities, and positions Rheinmetall as a key player in the region's military resurgence. Should Panther production eventually commence in Ukraine, it could also provide a logistical advantage for equipping Eastern European allies with the tank, reducing reliance on distant manufacturing hubs. By combining groundbreaking firepower, advanced defensive systems, and cutting-edge technology, the KF-51 challenges the notion that the tank's era is fading. But will it live up to its promise? With its development still underway, the Panther has yet to prove its mettle in the unforgiving crucible of combat. As NATO allies consider their next steps in modernizing their forces, one question lingers. Could this be the vehicle that redefines dominance on 21st century battlefields? The battlefield will decide.